Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good morning, Utah. Happy Thursday or happy Friday Eve. If you enjoyed our spring temperatures yesterday, chances are you're going to enjoy today, but I'm going to encourage you to enjoy today if you enjoy our spring warmth, because by tomorrow, things will become will become crashing back down as our next cold front moves in. In the meantime, it's a quiet start to the morning in Cedar City with that temperature sitting at 45 degrees. It's the view with our Southern Utah University camera network as we start to see a little bit of glow over the horizon as we look off towards the east. Meanwhile, in North Northern Utah, just an absolutely beautiful view from Alta, Albion Basin, twinkling stars above, calm conditions down below. Doesn't get much better than that. Our temperatures as you head out the door range anywhere from around freezing in Heber to the middle 50s along the Wasat front. We're sitting at 53 in St. George, and earlier this morning, Ogden was sitting at 60 degrees. It's a pretty mild start for the morning for this time of year. And after our fairly mild start, temperatures will be warming up rather quickly, and by your lunch hour along the Wasat front, temperatures will likely be in the low to mid 60s. And then during the course of the afternoon, daytime highs will be climbing into the upper 60s and low 70s. And there is a chance with a strong southerly wind, we could be talking about a daytime high in the mid 70s in some spots along the Wasatch Front. Today, though, we'll bring increasing clouds and increasing winds because those are going to be the first signals of changes that will be arriving by tomorrow. In the meantime, daytime highs will be ranging about 10 to 15 degrees above our seasonal averages. Even could see a daytime high in the upper 50s in Park City, while we'll see a daytime high of 68 in Ogden, middle 60s in Logan. And as you make your way into central and southern Utah, you'll mainly see a mix of 60s and 70s with a chance we could get close to 80 degrees in Moab this afternoon. If you look off towards northeast Nevada, though, if you're in, say, places like Elko, there will be the chance that a shower or thunderstorm finds you as that cold front moves in to northeast Nevada later on. And because of that front approaching from the west, we will see some pretty strong winds. Later this morning, we will see a wind advisory go into effect for most of western Utah. That will continue through midnight tonight as we could see some gusts upwards of 55 miles per hour. And then for our Friday, as that front moves across the state ahead of that front, we could see some gusts upwards of 75 miles per hour, the high wind watch for the eastern portion of the state. So let's go ahead and walk you through the future cast wind gusts. And this is 5 o'clock this afternoon. Even for spots not included within those wind advisories, we still could see some gusts over 30 to even 40 miles per hour along the Wasat front. But you can see it gusting around 50 miles per hour in places like Cedar City and Milford. And as we go from tonight into tomorrow, as that front moves from west to east across the state, could see some of those gusts on the magnitude of around 50 to 60 miles per hour in eastern Utah and maybe gusting as high as 75 miles per hour in spots. Let's walk you through it here on the future cast. We have a high pressure to our east, low pressure to our west. And as we go from today into tomorrow, that system works its way through our neighborhood, bringing in a pretty potent cold front along with it. We'll be looking at the chance of scattered showers for our Friday mainly in the form of valley rain and mountain snow. But as the core of the colder air moves in between Friday night and Saturday, there will be the potential that we could see straight snow in northern Utah as we hold on to that chance for scattered showers. Even as that system clears, we will see a trailing system between Sunday into Monday, bringing at least a slight chance of showers. Thankfully, by that point, though, even with our slightly unsettled weather sticking around, as we go into early next week, our temperatures will begin to moderate. All for high pressure to build in by the middle of next week, and by the middle of next week, temperatures will be close to, if not a little bit above, our seasonal averages. So we're just back and forth on the Utah spring weather roller coaster. We're at the top today, coming to the bottom Friday into Saturday, when we are expecting some snow totals, where our northern mountains could see 7 to 14, locally upwards of 2 feet, including places like the upper Cottonwood. Central and southern mountains won't do quite as well at 2 to 8. Valleys could see rain or maybe upwards of 4 inches of snow, and for the benches, we could see a little bit more than that, while our mountain valleys could see two to six and locally upwards of 10. In St. George, we'll be looking at a daytime high in the middle 70s today and with a daytime high in the middle 50s tomorrow, that is a very big change of pace. And not only will we see daytime highs in the 50s, overnight lows will be returning to the 30s in St. George. By the end of the weekend into early next week, even as we stay slightly unsettled, temperatures will begin to warm. Should be back in the 70s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Along the Wasatch Front, we'll be looking at windy conditions today with daytime highs in the low 70s. Scattered showers for our Friday, scattered showers on Saturday with a chance of seeing straight snow with highs in the 40s, lows in the 30s. By early next week, we'll start to calm things down and warm things up. We'll be back in the 60s by Wednesday.